Well, it was funny because um, uh, Sam had heard I was writing the script, and so I sent it over to him, and you know he read it, and then uh, then I gave him a call to talk about it. And I go, well, um, you're not going to be Django. I think Django needs to be just a little bit younger than you. And he goes, yeah, no, I gathered that. Yeah, I'm about 15 years too old, you know, to be Django. Uh, and I go, uh, so, what do you think about uh, the character of Steven? What do you mean, what do I think about him? You know, I would go, uh, well, I mean, do you have any problem playing that character? So what do you ask me? Do I have any problem playing the most despicable black MF in the history of cinema? I go, yeah. No, I got no problem with that. <laughs> because if I'm going to do it, I'm going to be all in. No, I'm already into it already. He was doing the Avengers at the time. No, I'm already into this. I'm working with a makeup guy. We're, we're coming up with a cool look for him. <laughs>
at the same time, I never wanted him to think that he had this, you know, he had a function as far as the plot was concerned to be this heavy, this villain. I wanted him to uh, let us get a sense of who Calvin Candy is. Well, Wyoming was just a fantastic place to shoot. It was it's beautiful country. Um, if you're if you're doing a western or anything that requires you to be in this kind of beautiful yet rugged terrain, it's 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 just a glorious place to go and uh, and just screams America, it screams uh, Americana, and you have the the beautiful Tetons there, and it's where all these great Westerns, uh, Shane, uh, uh, the Shootist, uh, they were all shot there. And it's, it's, it's really gorgeous. I and mean, we, we wanted to go there because uh, we needed snow and lots of it. And um, funny enough, Wyoming has that. And uh, we were able to get really, you know, the mountains up there are magnificent. Like I said, those Tetons are just beautiful and perfect, and we used to shut the heck out of them. But we were able to get the the horses walking through big thick snow, and it was it was it was just beautiful. We were like driving to the set one day, and I noticed there was a bunch of uh, uh, elk uh, uh, off to the side of the road, and I go, "What's that?" And the driver goes, "Oh, well, that's an elk reserve that they have that has both buffalo and elk." And uh, started got my my brain working, and uh, so we got in touch with the reserve to find out, you know, would we be able to shoot there? And their first response is, well, this is kind of interesting, but our first response you know, wants to be no, just in case something weird happens. We don't want any animals to get hurt. But um, we went and talked to them, and uh, the Humane Society they've been working very well with us throughout the whole movie. Uh, came with us and actually spoke on our behalf about, well, these people are really good people. Uh, none of the animals will get hurt. They're really, really conscientious. And so the reserve let us do it. And it was really neat how it, how it happened. They go, well, look, the time that we're going to have the most uh, elk and the most buffalo all together would be feeding time. So uh, if you can shoot it kind of with a telephoto lens and uh, uh, not get too close to the animals, just the, the two dudes on horses. Uh, we'll just come around feeding time and then get them all together and just uh, 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 send the horses through. And uh, the Schultz and Django got on their horses and rode by these elk, and we didn't even realize how tall the elk was until they actually got close because, you know, Django and Schultz that are on horses, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty high, and the elk was even still, with their horns, were still even bigger than they were. And it was, it was a pretty majestic moment.